Uh, so uh, next thing I want to do is I want to talk about three things that we don't like about each other. Fair enough? Fair enough. Um, have you prepared? Or you I, can just you can just think of these things right off the top of your head, yeah, right? I can think of a lot more than three. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. You can start with three, though. We'll, we'll start with three. And maybe this will be like a continuing skit that we do, and we'll just endlessly talk about things we don't like about each other? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm going to go first. That'll give us a lot of content to talk about. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, number one thing I do not like about Taylor is she is annoyingly on time to the point where it like stresses me out. So we went um, to a Christmas party, Todd Cohen's office, and um, we had to drive like 45 minutes. We were driving separately. Taylor texted me an hour beforehand, are you on time? What time are you leaving? While I was driving, I was getting multiple text messages. And if you need to be somewhere, Taylor will always be there 15 minutes early. She's always not only on time, she's early. And if you've got to be somewhere with her, um, it's pretty annoying. It's very stressful. She is annoyingly on time. <laughs> I think my husband would agree that's <laughs> not one of my best traits. Um, well, it could be good or bad. Um, yeah. But in this situation, it's definitely... At, I've got enough stress in my yeah. life. I don't need someone, are you leaving on time? Are you going to get there on time while you're driving? Is there traffic? Did you get there? I just parked. So anyway. I'll reverse it and say Mike <laughs> tends to always be a little late, which is why I have to make sure he's running on time so I'm not just sitting there. But actually, a few weeks ago, we had a firm lunch, and I picked up Mike Bertucci, and I ended up, I got a little lost. Um, coming to the office we were having lunch in the building and I kid you not it was three minutes past lunchtime and Mike and Jackie were calling me because they were concerned that I wasn't there yet totally and keep in mind that was like what a 15 minute drive and yes, it wasn't just yeah. the lunch we were actually doing like the last interview of an attorney who we <laughs> actually like offered a job to who's starting here in a little bit so yeah. a little bit more important than just a lunch but I think that's the only time I've known you, what, seven years? Six? Yeah. It's the only time you've ever been late for anything, and we all thought you were dead. 